Hello, today I want to go over some of the Mercury Vessel View display options here at the dash on our Heyday WT Surf. When you actually come over and look at the display, it's a very nice color, um, nine inch screen. This is the WT Surf, so you get the nine inch uh, Vessel View screen. Um, it's very interactive, it's very easy to use, and one of the best things is it's a Mercury screen with Mercury software with the Mercury engine. So it's a one-party system. You tend to not have any issues um, with that and not a third party trying to integrate everything in. Um, with this screen, um, it's very interactive. So on your main menu, when it starts up, you're going to go to the Mercury, uh, you know, digital screen page. Um, you can tap different locations, see different things uh, on the screen. Everything is going to give you different options, different looks. You can customize the looks. If you're interested in fuel consumption, how far you can go on a tank of fuel, um, you can really see your best cruising speed. All that, because it's a Mercury screen with Mercury engine, you really have a lot of benefits. All the uh, data that the engine's putting out, I'm just going to show up here on your screen. Um, with the newest update, you get a, a, a bar um, that's customizable at the bottom. I like to see coolant temp. I'm old school, but if you want to see something else, you can just hold this uh, and choose whatever you want to do. If you want to see, you know, fuel flow right there, for instance, it'll it'll show you everything right there. But typically, I like to use coolant temp. Just make sure we're not overheating ever. WT surfs, even surfing, I mean, it stays at about 145 to 155 all the time, if it's 100 degrees or 70 degrees. So from here, in general, you have your main menu up at the top. So if you hit this, this is your main menu of the entire screen. Um, this is where all your apps, like on your phone, show up or different programs that you have in standard. From heyday, you're going to have the Mercury screen where we just were or the uh, chart and navigation options. So uh, we'll go into this a little detailed later, but um, I like to do a little customization on this, make it 3D look, change the um, options on this, but I'll show you that in a little bit uh, later. Uh, you do have the navigation function where it's more your 3D look like you're driving uh, down the lake. We are not in the water here. We are just here at the shop uh, in Northern Utah in Centerville. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. Um, going back to the, the engine screen, um, from here, uh, when you are in the water, you have the, uh, um, you have your time at the top, and there'll be depth over on the side of the screen here. So from there, uh, when you are in the water, it'll show your depth. That's obviously a great thing to know. You have always these two sidebars over here. The green uh, mercury uh, one, uh, if you hit it, is going to bring out more information for you. Um, you're going to have lots of engine information. You can hit the more button. You can see exactly now some of these sensors on the motor. Um, very good thing to know and keep track of is your maintenance tab shows you how many hours this is our company boat we only have 34 almost 30 uh, well 34 hours on this boat right now so trying to get out as much as we can every time the boat comes to our shop we go into maintenance life and and reset this maintenance life uh, counter right here um, if you go back you can go into anything else one of the biggest things though everyone uh, is going to enjoy on the Mercury system is the, the tab right above where it says vessel control. This is your cruise control with Mercury. You have two options. You have standard cruise control, which I tend to use the most. Um, you just set your speed. We surf at 11.5 miles per hour. You hit the enable button. Everything turns yellow and then it's active. All you do is... Uh, push the throttle all the way down and the engine takes over. These two numbers are exactly the same. We're set at 11.5, it's gonna go to 11.5 exactly. Um, the other option you have, um, disable that for a second, uh, if we go back is your smart tow. This is Mercury's cruise control that has rider profiles and, and launch control built into this. So if we go into this and we hit 
my profiles. There's five standard profiles that come loaded in the screen. You can see on the graph here kind of what it shows. So the launch profile one would be a really slow um, starting uh, profile and then five is the opposite very aggressive all the power right away right to 11.5 at a ramp speed of five um, I've made a wakeboard uh, Ramp and then this is typically what we live out of the surf profile. It's going to be a 11.5 speed Ramp five and then to use it you literally just hit use uh, puts it into the surf um, Content over there you hit enable and it's ready to go it shows that we're at 11.5, floor the um, push the throttle level all, lever all the way down and you are ready to go. Um, these two are the same. All right, so um, on a properly set up boat, a lot of times um, you're gonna see 11.5, this vary just slightly. Um, but they will, it'll come back to be exactly 11.5. Typically our RPMs, we are here in Utah, uh, you're gonna see about 3,350 RPMs over here, full of ballast, ready to go. Disable this for now. Um, this is a very useful section. If you don't want to deal with any rider profiles and a little more um, content here, uh, I mean, I, this boat runs perfect at 11.5. Um, full of ballast with plug-and-play wake shaper on the side, you know, however many people that you want to be in the boat um, 11.5 is going to be a longer Pretty steep wave, but the the shorter you go 10.8 is a good uh, Very steep wave not quite as long, but great to be able to customize all of that um, how I've been running the boats, especially on lakes I haven't been to before, we've been doing a lot of exploring, showing the boats off at different places. I go to the main menu. I've created some custom tabs over here, so I use this tab right here. Now I uh, get rid of this instrument bar on the side. Um, now I have my chart my engine screen and my cruise control right here on the side. I can see where I'm at on the lake, all my engine information and cruise control to adjust things on the fly. Um, it's very customizable, pretty, pretty awesome display, simple to use, not a lot to go wrong, and it has all the features that you want. Uh, built right in. Um, so a great option that comes uh, from Rogers Performance Marine with the engine uh, package when you have a Merc. Um, good way to go. Uh, if you want to look directly into now just the chart screens, I have made a little adjustments if you know people want to mess with this a um, little more. This instrument bar pops up a lot of times. To get that gone or adjust it, you can actually hold a button over here and then choose also what you want to be in there. So you can really customize. I don't use this too much, but to get rid of it, just hit power um, and then just hit instrument bar. It'll go away. While we're here, by just hitting power once, you can turn the screen off in standby mode, getting the settings on the screen, you know, brightnesses of the screen, night mode if it is at night or something like that. Um, it is a wireless display, so whenever a boat's here or it's set up originally uh, during its pre-delivery inspection process, we hook it up to our Wi-Fi, do all the current updates on the screen, and you can do that stuff right at your home as well. But in here, I do like to go into the menu, which is up here on the chart screen. Um, more options. The, on this particular screen, uh, the Navionics uh, portion isn't quite as detailed as the Insight. So I go into the Insight. It gives you a lot more detail on uh, the on water section when you with contour lines, depths, and stuff like that. Uh, I do like the 3D look rather than the overhead you know, look um, like this but everyone has their preferences the point being you can really customize this display in every way um, i mean if you screw it up just literally go into the factory defaults and reset it and it's like you picked it up from the shop that day so love the screen love all the options uh with it one big thing i want to talk about when you're when you're using it you have cruise control on we're we're set and we're going um, something that not a lot of people know about, but maybe uh, causes trouble, but once you know, it makes a lot of sense. So when you're running, 
this uh, this key. Let's see if I can figure out this camera. The key down here. Um, Mercury with their Mercury uh, vessel view display has what's called the smart start uh, feature. What that means is you can literally just turn the key, let it go, and it will start itself. Um, also, a big feature is your surfing. Uh, your rider falls, you have to turn around and go get them. Next rider jumps in the water. Um, a safe practice is just shut the engine off, right? So to do that, you do not want to turn the key to the off position. It will shut your screen off and then you have to wait a few minutes for it to turn back on when you just want to jump back in the water. Mercury smart start feature, the engine's running right now, hypothetically. Turn it to the start position again and it will kill the engine. So if the engine's running and you hit start, it will shut it off. If the engine is not running and you hit start, it's obviously going to start. So what that does is kill the engine, but keep your display active so that you don't run into the issue of the screen shutting off, having to start back up, and then, um, you know, sometimes it might freeze on you if it's a really hot day or the screen is hot or something like that. So, um, um, in general, too, uh, you can go back into the settings. This is your settings. There's been a lot of talk about all this uh, online, how to set it up. Uh, uh, dealer that knows what they're doing is going to have it set up properly right out of the box. But in general, you have all your system settings. With the Mercury, you have a Mercury setting, so it will look for different stuff in the system from depth gauge to cruise control and all that. But you have all kinds of setting, wireless information, all your um, you know network devices that are hooked up are are all right in there. So. Um, yeah, I just want to do a little bit of a overview today. All right, two two last things I wanted to show you about this uh, display that I forgot about in the previous section was how to set up your um, split screens. Very simple, just hit a new one. Gives you stuff available to you over here. You can it's literally drag and drop. Um, into the screen. I actually never tried three, but I'll hit, we'll even do three uh, screens all on one. Okay, hit save, puts it into your um, active screen. You can really get a lot of stuff going on. Probably too much at some points, but pretty awesome. Um, last thing is what I actually use when I'm using this chart. So. I have it set up when we start moving that it will bring up an automatic uh, kind of trip detail to start making a line behind us or, or a trip on where we've been. There's two ways that I know of anyway to set this up. Ultimately, you can go into your settings. You go to the Mercury, I oh know you go to tracks and trips right here underneath Mercury and automatic trip detection turn that on um, that is going to as soon as the boat starts moving it gives you a pop-up on the screen and it will uh, ask you if you want to start a trip continue a trip or you just you know don't uh, track the trip today um, another way you can do it is actually well I just thought of another way you can go into the settings see this trip Intel button here on the side you can hit that and manually hit start trip so then it actually starts logging all of your information. The automatic uh, trip detection logs this as well. Or um, you can uh, go into the Mercury screen, hit more. There's a trip Intel button right there. And you can also hit start trip and start recording all of your stuff. Very good stuff, keeps track of how far you've been, uh, speeds, all your fuel economy and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of a general overview of the screen. If anyone has any questions, just uh, call us at one of the shops. My name's Jake, I'm here in Centerville and we can help you. 
One last thing I wanted to show everyone on the screen is, let's say you are having uh, trouble with the engine, you're getting an overheating alarm or some alarm you don't know what it means, maybe it's just low voltage or something like that, uh, but you didn't catch the alarm, it'll have a pop-up, um, a big white page that will give you a description of what's going on. If you missed it and it's gone, you can go back and look at what it is very simply in, in multiple ways, but the simplest way is go to the main menu, hit the alarms button right there. It gives you a list of active alarms. If nothing's active, but it happened, you can go to history and it will list that alarm. Um, there could be some stuff in history uh, just from the, uh, you know, heyday installing the engine and things like that. So it'll give you like a timestamp over here on when it happened. And then, you know, you could clear all the, the faults. Um, this is just like, uh, in, in a lot of ways, uh, us hooking our laptop up to the, um, the engine and seeing what's going on. So if you have an issue on the lake, you could come to this screen, hit active, call your local dealer, give them to the description. They, you don't have to then plug the laptop right in. This is a huge benefit uh, to keep your vacation going, keep your day on the lake. Uh, active and you know a uh, dealer could tell you if this is an important thing stop immediately get back to the trailer or you know that was tripped because of some reason I believe if it if you uh, trip the um, let's see the, this here if the engine was running up oh, doesn't need to be running this is what it would do emergency stop you know you didn't know what it was, it will literally uh, tell you right on the screen. I just flipped it back up, it should go away, um, but it will be in the history. So you can see that that is a good example of a fault on the engine that you didn't know, it went away, what the heck was that, um, or whatnot to keep track of what's going on. So hope you guys like this, have a good one. Alright guys, so that was a quick uh, overview of the Mercury 9-inch Vessel View display on our Heyday WT Sir. Uh, hopefully that helped you with any questions you may have on what it looks like, how it functions, is it worth the money. Um, we definitely think it is. All of our boats will have this display in it. So if you have any questions, call us at the shop.